Ho, 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 it's that time for the show. Hello, hello, hello. Good Wednesday, everybody. Ho, 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 it's time for the catacombs. Go up from the house top, click, click, click. On the internet is where you I don't know, I don't know. Hey, Jay, what's up, man? How are you today? I hope you are well. I hope the week is going by quickly. I hope you're not having to deal with many shenanigans. Let's look this up and see if, uh... Jeff! Oh, wow, I hit both of you guys at the same time. Nice! Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you're at. It's the noon time hour. My belly's empty. That means I'm going to need to eat. Maybe a McRib. <laughs> I don't know. I already had two this year. I think if I have three, it might kill me. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anywho, anywho. Mm. Eric, Liza Holtz. Hi there. Wow, everyone's coming in. So, thank you guys. Good afternoon. Good lunch. Good morning. I know. It's uh, noon here in uh, very chilly Arizona. Burr. Um, it's weird that my new car is telling me, oh, ice on the roads. It's like it's Arizona. There's never ice on the roads in the valley. Um, so anyways, Bob, oh my God. Oh, good, Jay. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day off. So it's good to hear that you're getting off early. <clears throat> All right, let me go ahead and just share me. Uh, join the fun. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys. Um, Got a couple things or announce. Make sure um, all you guys are checking your spam and your emails for the uh, emails we sent out in regards to the statues, seductor statues. So um, please, please, please. What is spam? No. What is ah? Uh, sometimes technology is my my friend. So, anyways. Everybody, I want to say um, hi, good morning, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm tired. Um, just a heads up, please, please, please be patient. Um, we are still packing and a shipping and a packing and a packing. Uh, I've been uh, just before I got the setup ready for the show. I was um, packing up a bunch of your uh, Kickstarter orders, so we are almost there. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, and then boom. It's all in your beautiful hands. So thank you very much for supporting us as always, guys. And thank you very much for all the love and just you just being the, the most awesome, beautiful, groovy people in the comics industry. And we're lucky to have you as our customers and friends. So thank you very much. All right. So I got a lot of classic stuff today. I did some really good digging. Um, I even found a couple things uh, that I've never seen before. Uh, and I only have two of them. So um, I'm sure those will get scooped up real quick by folks. Uh, but still, that's what we're here for. We're here to sh put out some new stuff, the rare stuff, and just fun stuff and just have fun together. So I hope everyone is having a nice festive season right now. Uh, to all our uh, Jewish watchers, happy Hanukkah. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday. And I hope everyone's uh, weeks and the rest of this month is full of love, happiness, um, you know, reach out to people you haven't talked to. It's the silly season. Um, it's been a weird year, but you know what? It's almost out, and we can worry about the next weird year, which is 2021. So I'll just be happy to say 2021. That's it. Anyways, let's start things off. I got some classics from CrossGen. I wish I had full runs of this series, but what I have is beautiful. I have CrossGen Lady Death of Medieval Tale, numero uno. Numero uno. I have a whole about 10 of these right now. Very good price. Pick them up while I got them. Be nice to see Brian autograph in some of these classic books from back in the day. Also, I forgot to introduce uh, Josh again. Um, I'm neglecting my co-host. Everyone, this is Josh, the Christmas tree. He is joining me throughout the holiday season. Um, I may be taking him home when I do the two shows at home. I have an announcement also to make on Monday, January 4th will be our last day of CCSN on the CBSN. We'll be uh, moving the following week to the Coffin Comics TV on YouTube. So, Monday show will still be at 3 o'clock. It's only going to be 30 minutes and it's going to be on YouTube. 
uh, from here on out. Um, I hope you uh, will join me. And um, I'd like to thank everyone who discovered us on the CBSN. Uh, it's been a really fun year to be there. And I've met so many wonderful new people. I think uh, some of them I shockingly put on camera when they least expected it. Um, back when it was working properly, I don't want to risk doing that because I don't want to kill the sound. Uh, so you guys don't think I'm doing a silent movie. So onwards and upwards. Another great classic written by the multi-talented Brian Polito. I have Lady Death, a medieval tale number three. I only have a few of these. Um, yeah, I don't have many of threes and fours. So what I have available is what's left. Unless I'm lucky enough to run across some more. Eh. Um, right now, uh, so far, no such luck. So I'm hoping to get some. And if anything sells out, reach out to me at inquiries at coffincomics.com. I've had a couple people uh, inquire about things that were on the catacombs previously that are on the eBay store that I took down since eBay was being goobers. Um, I figure that's an appropriate word. Uh, so I just want to say, you know, reach out to me. Uh, send messages. If I still have an item, I'm more than happy to see what I can do for you. So if we sell out of any of these um, cross-gen books, please let me know. I do have some held back in case of loss and damages, and I think I might have a couple left on eBay, but yeah, um, I don't worry about that later. But definitely message me if there's something you're not sure if it's sold out or whatnot. Um, reach out to me, I might still have it, and I can probably invoice you for it if the item is still available. Uh-oh, here comes Santa's little helper. It's Brandy, warehouse queen. Come on, don't be shy now. Come on. You're going to hell? I was going to hell. Oh, yes. We have a room called hell for those who haven't visited uh, HQ. Everyone, say hi to Brandy. Hi, everybody. How's it going out there in the warehouse? Where, what are we looking at? Boxes. <laughs> Lots so of boxes. boxes. I'm going to build a fort with all the boxes. Well, I have a fort around my work area right now where i got to crawl under tables. <laughs> What's fantastic. It's a lot fantastic. of fun. I'll, yeah. I'll try and get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, everyone's really busting their butts uh, here at HQ, trying to get everything out in time before the silly season. So, uh, round of applause to you and the crew. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, guys. Um, thank you for your patience. We're really busting our butts to get this done. So soon, everybody. Soon, soon, soon. soon. That's the S word we all she's like. Going to hell now. All right, she's going to hell. Everyone's going to hell. She'll see everybody there. She'll see everyone in hell. Hugs to Brandy's face. No, I think that would hurt her. Anyways, uh, onward and upwards. I also have uh, Lady Death, a medieval tale number four. I have about four or five copies left of this uh, very low run. I don't have many. I wish I had some twos and some of these missing holes. So I would have loved to have made a combo pack of a whole series. But unfortunately, uh, that wasn't in the cards. But if I run across stuff personally, heck yeah, I'm going to throw it at it and make little combo packs for y'all if I can pull it off. Oh, and number six, Lady Death of Medieval Tale. Today is the Medieval Tales of Lady Death Day. Brought to you by CrossGen Comics. Um, CrossGen Comics was a really interesting experiment in uh, the early, what, 2000, 99, 2000. Um, the gentleman who was a big tech guy uh, was also a comic fan, so he started a publishing company, and they had a really interesting idea of doing things like the old school way, where you had the bullpens, where you had the artists all working in an office, and writers and whatnot. There was some writers, of course, that worked from home and just submitted their work, but everyone seemed to go to the headquarters quite a bit to meet up and get caught up on and, and whatnot, so it was a really neat idea a really cool company. Uh, when I was working for Atomic Comics when they first came out, those guys came out with so much promotional stuff to promote their company. I mean, they gave us uh, like the first four issues of their books each to read, t-shirts. I mean, they went all out. And uh, one of the many titles they carried was Lady Death, The Medieval's Tale. So just a little comic book history for y'all. I also have issue seven available. Uh, it looks, as you can tell, I am out of number twos and fives. I wish I had them. If I find any, uh, please, please let me know. Message me. Uh, I know there's some folks that are trying to complete their runs of this. Um, so now's a good opportunity. Uh, and like I say, if any of them sell out, reach out to me. I have held back some stuff for loss and damages just to be safe. 
uh, on some of these issues. Um, I did not have enough to do that with. Now this, I really love this cover. This is my favorite cover of this run. This is issues eight. Really awesome cover. Let's see, it was uh, Brian Polito was the writer. Fabi uh, Fabrizio Fior Fior Fiorentino is the artist. We also got uh, Ted Pertzborn and Chris uh, Blythe doing this. And I love the, the reviews on this. Best new series of 2003. Uh, Wizard called it, um, what was the other reserve? Book of the Month uh, for Wizard Magazine. Anyone out there remember Wizard Magazine? I kind of missed the hell out of that thing. Um, it was a lot of fun to read. Um, a lot of fun to just see the speculations and, and what they thought was going to be hot in a few years. Um, just a lot of fun, very informative. Um, I was bummed because near the end, just like all magazines, um, their articles were like a paragraph and tons of photos. And I'm like, well, buy a magazine, I want an article. I want to read an article, not a paragraph. It's like, what, what is this, GQ magazine? Anyways, next up we've got Lady Death of Medieval's Table number nine. Complete your runs. It's fun, fun, fun. I like that Jay's quote. He's <laughs> like, I had to get it. It's the most clothing I've ever seen on Lady Death. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Oh, good. And I, I'm glad the uh, button was in there. I, I just happened to be packing your order, Jay. Um, and it was like, oh, my gosh, there it is. So um, I had that button waiting around for I knew it was going to be working in the warehouse. So if I ran into one of your orders, I could throw that in. So... Uh, Merry Christmas, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm glad I could give something to a, a fan, a fiend, and sworn. Uh, we just happened to see something in the background of my office, and it's like, well, it'll make him happy, why not? So, awesome. Dude, uh, did, did you, have you noticed, uh, since you have a lot of wizards in your collection, um, how the articles were just, the, the, especially you know before the, they uh, ended their run, the articles were phenomenal. I used to love to read Wizard Magazine every time it came out. So if, if you guys want to read a great uh, history lesson of the comic industry uh, from the 90s all the way up to uh, 2010, Wizard Magazine is a really cool history lesson. As you can see how the, the industry changed, especially once the internet hit big. Um, it, it really changed um, just how comics were, were viewed. Um, it's interesting to see how they were first putting up the early digital editions and, and comics on DVD. Uh, I wish I had the classic Marvel uh, Star Trek set that someone put out a long time ago on CD-ROM. Just really fun stuff. It was interesting to, to be a part of the industry as it was changing along with uh, technology at the time. So it was pretty fun. Yeah. Anytime, Bob. I have a good teacher. Everyone, Bob. Bob. Everyone, I, I want to see a whole bunch of high Bobs uh, when I pop up here again. All right, next up I have issue 10 of Lady Death, A Medieval Tale. I believe the issues I am out of for a complete run are 2, 5, and 12, I believe. Um, this is all, I have everything, 10, uh, 9, 10s, and 11s, but after that, that's, that's where the trail runs cold. I'm sorry to say. I think I had one issue of 12 and an issue of 2. Pardon me, I have the hiccups. Um, and I believe I, those sold via eBay, um, back in March or April in the early shutdown. Beautiful cover for number 11. Lady Death and Medieval's Tale. These are really great prices. And you get them from the source. Brian Polito's Coffin Comics. What do we got here? Coffin Comics. Ah, yes! You people are beautiful. Gosh, you people are beautiful. I love talking to you guys. I get to talk and hang out with you guys every week for an hour. This is great. This is great. Okay, something I'm really excited that I found. Um, I, I couldn't... I was like, wow, I don't know if this title was ever published. But I was able to get the ash cans for the dwelling. There was only 50 of these made, and I have number 37s and 38s. This is it. This is an old chaos ash can. Brian Polito's Black Label Graphics, a dark brew dwelling. 
take a sip. I love these ads in the back. And there you go. Uh, written and created by Brian Polito, penciled by Brian uh, Denham and Daya Morin, who did um, some of the artwork for um, Brian when he was with Avatar. Um, so yeah, a really cool ash can for a title I'm not familiar with. So this might be like one of those cool hidden gems for all you uh, completists of classics um, going all the way back. And shh, what an awesome logo. So guys, I only have two. I have number 37 and I have number 38. Uh, once these are gone, that's it. I have no more. Uh, those are a weird find. I, I didn't know what to do with them for a while. Uh, I was like, what do I do with these, these two ash cans with stuff that I wasn't familiar with? Oh, Miguel, always the instigator. Another classic. Been sitting on this for a while. Evil Ernie, Youth Gone Wild, Encore Presentation. This is issues one through five. And I threw in a classic Chaos Comics logo sticker in there for whoever picks this up. So I've got exactly one of these, one of each. Evil Ernie, Youth Gone Wild. See where it all started. This is the Encore Presentation published by Chaos. The original series was published through a, uh, Eternity Comics. And last but not least, I have the very beautiful, amazing cover done by a lot of people uh, really love our work, and I am too. Uh, this is a mock up. This is Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem, Naughty Lady Satanist Edition. 9.8 signature series signed by Don McTague. I have one of these up right now here at the catacombs. Booyah shukka. Booyah shukka. So, we talked to Brandy. We let you guys know. For those who are just joining us right now, please, please, please check your emails for the uh, statue that we've been, uh, we did pre-orders from earlier in the year. Well, those additions are coming in, so we need everyone to check your emails. Uh, there was a notification here in Sworn Nation that a gentleman um, had pre-ordered one and he had to go through his spam to find it. So check your spam emails and you look out because we just sent out notifications for those statues that everyone pre-ordered on. So don't delay. Check your emails today. <laughs> oh, I kid, I kid. But yes, please, there's uh, at least... Um, a majority of everyone has replied back and we've uh, received their emails and, and what have you, uh, but there's still uh, a few that need to be answered or uh, mails out there sending out the emails. So if we haven't heard from you, you know, we'll, we'll still try to reach out to you somehow, but it's a limited time. Please, please, please check your spam or your emails if you haven't already in the last couple of weeks. Check it. The information and payments due for the statues have been emailed out, so check your emails, please. That's set. Um, let's see. Thank you, Dakota. I just got a wonderful message from Dakota. Um, in case you don't know, uh, Brandy's daughter, Dakota, it does a lot of the putting up this stuff onto the catacombs. Her and Nick are my partners in crime on this. I may be the face. Uh, I may be finding the stuff, but they're putting in all the coding and everything to get that onto the uh, Coffin, Coffin, uh, Coffin Comic Shop. Uh, so please, uh, if you guys could uh, thank them, send messages, let them know that uh, you really appreciate the work because I couldn't do this show without them. So thank you, Dakota and Nick, from me. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to you two as well. Um, they're good partners to have, and it's fun to work with Nick uh, quite a bit. Uh, Dakota and I worked together in the warehouse last year. Um, she's a heck of a gal. She really gives it her all, just like her mom does. And Nick, you guys know Napalm Nick. He's like, he was here at the beginning of everything, and he's still here rocking it out. So I'd like to personally thank them both and let you guys know that it's because of their hard work that that stuff gets uploaded onto the site. So, thank you guys, thank you. Let's see if there's any question. Uh, you know, I think, Eric, that'd be a good question for uh, over at Mel at Inquiries. Um, 
I'm sure if there's any available, we probably will offer those. So, I mean, I think we did it with the um, PVC statues. Uh, I know we sold through some. Some folks never answered their surveys or never paid for the Kickstarter. So we had a couple pop up uh, and I sold them, uh, I think on early episodes of the Catacombs and um, when we did Crucial Con, I, I remember there was a bunch of uh, like six to eight were found. Um, and then we also had some, I think at the last Kickstarter event, um, that we had an HQ before everything went wonky this year. So yes, if I do have extras, we will offer them. Um, if you'd like, um, Eric, message me and I will see, um, Basically, whatever is going to be left, we'll have to wait for everyone's responses um, to the emails and for their payments. So, people sometimes don't pick up their stuff, so we'll offer it again. So, you know, please let us know. I'll let you know. Uh, I'm sure we can, uh, I'm sure we'll make an announcement as too, as well. So, these things are very popular. Um, they're gorgeous. I, I want to bring one out here, but since it's a prototype, um, I would hate to drop it because that would that would be a bad thing. So I don't want to do that. Let's see. Thank you, Eric. And, and you know, I, I really that's one thing I really like um, that you guys are really supporting us. It's it's we really are busting our butts here. I know there's some people that are frustrated that you know, oh, where's my shipment? Where's this? It's like, hey, guys, we are crammed solid. We're bursting at the seams, getting everything out, um, just trying to get this stuff in your hands. So thank you very much for your patience. Not only that, you guys have seen, uh, I guess, uh, someone post a picture of what's going on at the post office. And oh my gosh, uh, there is a lot of stuff just backed up in boxes waiting to get trucked out and into everyone's hands. So um, we'll get them out to you. The next step is to make sure uh, it gets delivered to you, which, you know, our post worker here that comes in and picks our, our, our orders, Pete, he said that they are just bursting at the seams. So there's a lot of orders. Um, UPS is in the same book, FedEx. I mean, they're renting trucks just to get stuff out. So um, it's crazy. It's the holiday season. It happens. Um, so, you know, just know that we don't play. Coffin don't play. We're out there busting our butts. Um, after it leaves us, it's <laughs> it's tough for us to decide, you know, what's going to happen on, on the deliveries because, you know, it's the post office, the UPS, and God only knows who else is shipping everything out. Exactly. That's, uh, a, that was a good short way of saying it. Thank you. Um, you know what? And Mel has been doing a heck of a job. She's there answering everyone's um, questions over at uh, Inquiries. CoffinComics.com. Mel is is just working her butt off, answering all the questions, and make sure you guys are getting the answers and know where your stuff at or what stage we're at with your orders. So, um, guys, Mel is just firing away on all cylinders. So let's get a round of applause to uh, Mel. Uh, Miguel, thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm glad uh, we're to giving you guys our best, just like we do every day. Um, we've been working six days a week. Randy's been putting in 12 plus hours every day. So, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not taking a break until everything's out. So, you know, our goal is to get everything out as soon as possible and before the Christmas season. So, and God, gosh, Christmas is only 10 days away. Woo. Is that right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Christmas Eve. Jimmy Cricket. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on now, that's not, that's sweet, but come on, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do it. But uh, yeah, the post office are very mad busy, very mad busy. Yes, we all are running on coffee too, Miguel. It's, <laughs> man, um, I've already had uh, two of these. Um, I think I'll get a third one uh, this afternoon after I have lunch. We always have afternoon coffee. I'm going to have to fill that sucker up. Got a lot of orders I'm boxing up, and uh, it's great to see everyone's names uh, on the packages. And oh man, all these 
awesome addresses from around the world. That's one thing I really love about packing Kickstarters is I get to see all these amazing peoples just all over the world backing us. That is someone for me who's just worked the retail side of it. This is a beautiful thing to watch and I get excited every Kickstarter because of all of the support we get and it's like wow I've never heard of this place in in England or I've never heard this place in Australia or this place in heck um, I think I packed a, a, a order that was going to the Philippines or something like that and it was like wow I mean it's neat to see uh, it's, especially something for me that's you know been stuck in Arizona his whole damn life <laughs> ash cans Oh, dude! Yeah, 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 yeah. For the, uh, um, yeah, Mel is a great asset. So thank you, everybody. Moonshine Mel is, I, I'm really glad she's a part of our team. She does, she always used to help out with Kickstarters, packing orders. It's really neat. Everyone who works here at HQ, we've all started in that warehouse uh, packing orders. Um, that is where you start. You have to, really prove yourself in the warehouse um, big time. And Brandy puts you through your paces. And with the orders we get in, my gosh, um, it amazes me uh, how fast um, we can get things out uh, when everything's flowing in a great way. And so far, um, we were amazed yesterday how far we were packing all the orders. So it's almost done, folks. It's almost done. Sure, Jimmy's been showing you the photos and Brian of all these boxes packed up. It's amazing. Hey, Kong, how are you, man? Good to see you. How are you today? How is your family doing? How is um, life in uh, Cali? I think it is. Um, thank you for joining us. Yes. Yeah, like I say, Mel is... is a, answering all the questions. She's sending out these emails, trying to reach out to me. It's like, hey, you know, we sent an email in regard to your seductor statue. So guys, check your emails, check your spam mail. We're, we're shooting out these emails to let you know, hey, the statue's almost here. Uh, let's finish up getting this stuff, reply back to us, finish up on the payments, and we're shooting it out to you. Let's see, what else do I have here today? Yes, thank you, Dakota. Um, real quick, I got about three minutes. Uh, for those who haven't uh, heard the announcement, Monday, January 4th will be our last CCSN on the Comic Book Shopping Network. We will be moving the following Monday to our YouTube channel, Coffin Comics TV. Make sure you subscribe so you get a notification when I do the uh, CCSN there on Mondays, 3 p.m. Arizona time. Um, so basically, the same time you've been watching the show uh, on Facebook, on the CBSN, we are now moving to YouTube. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, it'll be neat to uh, do some live shows on YouTube. And also, um, Jimmy and I are brainstorming on some fun ideas uh, for upcoming little shows and whatnot uh, in the future. So stay tuned. Um, Monday, January 4th will be our last show on the CBSN. The CC, uh, Coffin Comics Shopping Network will be moving to its new home on Coffin TV, Coffin Comics TV on YouTube. So subscribe if you hadn't already. It'll let you know when we're going live. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you all there and just presenting some more stuff for you guys. So I'm going to go get me some food in my belly because I'm really hungry. Let me see. I am doing good. Thank you, Kong. Um, speaking of which... Um, how are, is everyone excited, really excited for Christmas? I'm just looking forward to it because it's time to, quiet time to spend time with my family. Uh, another announcement I wanted to make too is I'll be doing two shows during, when we are closed for the Christmas season. So I'll be doing shows from the house. I uh, hope you guys like the stuff I will be presenting to you. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to the 28th and uh, just uh, looking to have a wonderful show uh, with you guys back at my house. It's been a while. I think June was the last time I did a show from home uh, when we were at the uh, shutdown. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing a show. I'll be doing a couple shows from home. So maybe my kitty Tiny will join me like she used to to kind of just, you know, 
be like, oh, what are you doing, Daddy? So, anyways, I'm Julian the Hooligan. Thank you, guys. These are all available right now in the catacombs. Classic Chaos, classic cross-gen, and a beautiful graded mock-up side by Don McTee. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm the Hooligan. You guys be beautiful. You guys hold together. We're almost done. The silly season is upon us. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. Everyone have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll be talking to you later. Remember, if you have questions for me, inquiries at coffincomics.com. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.